guys and welcome back to my channel. So I admit that I have been the worst YouTuber probably over the last like month. I have just kind of neglected you guys a little bit and every car must drive past really. I'm really sorry for neglecting you guys a little bit. Things have just been really, really, really crazy in my business. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you probably should, you would see that I've been on set basically every single day. It has been a mad rush. There's been a lot of collaborations happening. But luckily, because of all of that stuff, I have some new content for you guys. So you would have seen on my last video, I did a kind of August lookbook. Um, I'm trying to bring the styling side of my business into my YouTube channel. I want you guys to get a really good reflection on what it is that I do and what I do in my daily life. So fashion styling plays a really big part in makeup artistry as well. And it's just, yeah, part of the package. So I wanted to bring you guys a little bit more in depth into my fashion styling side. So this is is the start of a brand new series which I hope to film every single month and it is called my top five fashion faves and yeah it's gonna be cool there's a lot of stuff I needed to talk about being my first video a lot of stuff I've been loving for the season a lot of stuff that I haven't been loving as much I just kind of wanted to bring it down to just five products to keep things short snappy and fun and stay kind of on trend. So everything I talk about is going to be quite on trend products or things and things that I've literally been loving for just that month. So I do refer to my styling or my lookbook video quite a bit in this video. So that is going to be linked down below. Be sure to check it out. It's got some really good like styling ideas for the month. It's all the stuff that you see in that video is quite relevant to what's in our stores at the moment so it's quite easy to chop and change items to try and recreate the looks so without further ado please stay so the first item i want to talk about i've posted quite a bit on social media and i had so many messages and people asking me where i got these from etc etc so they do feature in my previous lookbook video but they are these amazing little boots can we please just have a moment for how beautiful these boots are. I'm obsessed with them. So I got them from a little store in Durban. I'll have to send the link down below. It's kind of like a boutique, but they're from a brand called Shoe Republic New York City. And I've heard about this brand quite a lot. I follow them on Instagram. So I've obviously seen their stuff quite a bit, but I've never actually seen it in South Africa. So when I walked into this boutique and I saw these, I literally almost died. I am not really somebody that spends a lot of money on clothes. Yes, I buy a lot of clothes and I spend money on the amount of clothes that I buy, but each individual item I buy is not very expensive. It's not like over the top expensive. I try and keep things to kind of a reasonable, justifiable budget place. I do a lot of my buying for fashion styling purposes so I got to keep my costs down as much as possible but also keep really on trend. So these boots were like the first pair of boots that I bought that were a little bit more on the pricier side. Totally worth it. I absolutely love these boots. I think that they're gorgeous. I've worn them in so many different ways. So I will insert a video of how I wore these and how I styled them because yeah, I just think they're great and they're so comfortable. The heel for me is great because I love wearing heels. I love the feeling of heels and I love to feel that slight elevation. These make me feel that, but after wearing them for a few hours, I don't even feel like I'm wearing heels. They're super comfortable. I do feel like they're a little bit big. I got them in a size six. I am a size six, however, in these boots, I kind of tend to lean more towards a size five. So it does just mean that I have to wear like thicker socks with them. But since it's been so cold recently, I haven't mind doing that at all. So yes, these are these boots from Shoe Republic. The next thing I want to talk about is this little bodysuit. Now, I have been after a bodysuit like this for ages. Like you guys know these embroidery bodysuits. Everyone wants them and I haven't really seen that many in the store. So when I saw this, I just like didn't even think. I just grabbed it, paid and left. It is so exciting. 
So it is this one. And it is from, hope you guys can see that. It is from YDE. And I paid $5.50 for it. I know $5.50 is a little bit expensive for a bodysuit. However, there is so much detail in this. Like this is all embroidery. This is not just like a print on piece. I don't like the print on pieces, especially on bodysuits, because I feel like when you start to wash them, they do fade quite a bit. So I wanted a really good quality one. I love this mesh in the front. I am not the most conservative person in the world. However, the others that I've seen have like a really plunging neckline and a really open back. And I just think that's all a little bit too much. And it's also quite cool because this I can still wear now when it's a little bit cold. So I absolutely love it. It is a, like a t-shirt sort of material. And I just think that with black pants, with some black culottes, and some trainers it will be really casual and dressed down but also with maybe some like black leather pants and some heels this could look amazing for a night out so the next thing i want to talk about i have actually had for a little bit more than a month but i've just really been loving these this month like every time they come out of the wash and get put back in my cupboard i literally put them on again i wear them so much and i just think that it's kind of a wardrobe essential so it is just these trousers Oop. these sort of tie trousers they come like to my mid ankle so they're not like full length trousers but they have like almost a suiting material which I love it makes me look quite slim and sleek and it just ties together any outfit so I think that these are basically wardrobe staples because it can really be dressed up and dressed down. I've worn them with a really good pair of heels and kind of a sheer black top and it looked really stunning. And then I've also paired them with some casual sandals and some fishnet socks as you'll see as as you'll see in the snippets coming up. And yeah, I just really think that every girl should own a few pairs of these. You never know when you'd need to grab a pair of pants that you know look good and you know can be dressed up and dressed down you can put your heels on in the evening but you can also wear them to work during the day with your normal sort of moccasins or trainers or pumps whatever it is that you wear to work so i really 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 love these and i highly recommend getting a pair of these these unfortunately i bought in the uk from a shop called primark if you've ever been to the uk primark is life it is amazing i have seen a few of these on Superbulous recently. There are different different sort of sizes and colors and whatever. But I saw a blush pink pair which are really stunning. So if you guys are needing a really good pair of pants, I would go for these before you go for your next pair of jeans. Just because I feel like trends are kind of leaning more towards smart, casual, blending vibes. And I think that a smart pair of pants is something that everyone needs. So I wish that I'd bought these in a black color. I don't have the black color. This is kind of a maroon color, which is a little bit more on trend. However, I think if I do find these in a black, I will definitely purchase them because as I say, they are an essential staple item. And one of my best friends and me, we were like kind of walking through thrift shops in the CBD in Joburg. And I saw this jacket and I was like, it's real leather. And she was like, yes, it is. And I didn't really love it that much, but it was only 200 bucks. So I bought it and I kind of liked it and then didn't like it and then put it in my styling closet and then kind of brought it out again. And then when the seasons changed and it got really, really, really cold, I kind of grabbed this and I wore it the one day and I got so many compliments and I actually figured that I love this. I actually love this jacket. So it is a vintage it says that it's from Veneto, leather by Veneto. I do know that it's real leather though. And as I say, it was vintage. And it is a kind of cropped. It comes into like my lower mid waist. And it's really oversized. So the sleeves are super oversized. And then it's just got this like tassel detail all along the back of the jacket and down the sides. And it's also got these kind of adjustable sort of buckle type things i just keep them there for sure i've never actually used them but they add like quite a nice detail to the jacket it's also got the tassels along the front 
So I've really, really, really been loving this piece. It's super warm. It's super, I don't know, it's super versatile. Like, I know tassels are a little bit out of season, but I feel like the oversized cropness, 90s styling is really, really nice. I love original 90s pieces. I feel like we've kind of commercialized the 90s trend a lot in store at the moment. So to have like a real vintage 90s, 80s, 90s sort of piece is really, really awesome. So you will see that I wore this again. If you follow me on Instagram, I wore this to Fashion Week this past weekend. And I think it just brought my whole outfit together and it really, really worked well. Guys, my biggest fashion tip, one of my biggest fashion tips is go into thrift shops, like thrift shops, vintage shops, charity shops. You never ever know like the things you can buy. If you are looking for a really good like winter jacket and you don't want to spend like two grand on an amazing jacket, go and have a look at these stores, please. I've bought fur in stores like that, faux fur, disclaimer, faux fur before and it's amazing and it's and now I've bought leather so it's really awesome to see what these stores have and if you're shopping on a budget if you're students but you want to be stylish guys it's the best solution that I do and last but certainly not least I have an announcement for you guys so I have been chosen as one of the aesthetic rebels fashion stylists I am so excited because the shoe brand is next level like you see these shoes on instagram i never thought we would be able to actually get them in south africa and then aesthetic rebel came around approached me and asked me to be a stylist for them and i'm so excited about this collaboration so obviously naturally my last fashion favorite is going to be a product from them so this is the box that i received these boots in and how stunning is this packaging i just think it's super sleek super simple i love their logo and i love everything about the way that they do their branding they have a specialized service so you basically go online you see the shoes that you like and you call up one of their stylists and you say oh my word i love x y and z and the stylist will pick the shoes and actually bring them to your house for you to try them for you to see if you like them and then to purchase them that way it's a lot more of a personalized service than just shopping online. I know for me especially, I hate buying shoes online because they don't always fit so well. I'm not sure what I'm getting. So at least with the stylist opportunity, you get the chance to try them in your own home. So that is really, really exciting. So Aesthetic Rebel gave me these amazing shoes. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I wore them to Fashion Week. But it is these beautiful sky high boots that tie all the way up the front then they tie on the side and on the back too i absolutely love these i've been in the market for a good pair of kind of like thigh high boots for a long time but i definitely wanted ones with a heel and then aesthetic rebel came along and i saw these and I instantly, instantly, instantly fell in love. They're such good quality boots. They just make sense in all the right ways. I love the gold little eyelets in the front. I think that makes them really trendy and original. And I just think that our market is really lacking in terms of good, good, good quality on-trend pieces. And that's what Aesthetic Rebel does. We offer you guys very very on trend pieces yes they are a little bit more of an investment however it is so worth it because the quality is just phenomenal so if you guys want to find out more about aesthetic rebel and about purchasing or even taking advantage of like our personal styling opportunity please have a look down below and you will see my email address pop me a mail and i will forward you guys to the necessary people in order to make that happen so yes, Aesthetic Rebel is going to literally own the market with these amazing pair of shoes. It is just the most exciting thing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was something a little bit different. So let me know if you like it, if you are loving a more styling based channel as well as makeup and not just all about makeup let me know what you think about that i would love to hear your feedback and all of your comments so thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions please just follow all my links down below like 
subscribe, share. You guys know the drill. I would love to have you as part of the family. Share my content and all of my insights with you guys on the reg. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.